Ooh, ah, pretty. What is all this? It's a lot of information to unpack here, but uh, we're about to analyze the hell out of this. Stay tuned. Let's start with the new specials I noticed. The Ink Zooka coming back and making a return. Looks pretty cool. I never really got to use the Ink Zooka. I didn't really play Splatoon 1. I never really got the chance. Looks like we have the love child of a killer whale and stingray here. Except for like multiple little drones. Looks really cool. And a crab robot, which I confirmed on Twitter was actually a special, I think. Don't quote me on that. Uh, next we have brand new weapon type that it looks like if you hold and charge it fully, it will uh, it'll shoot three shots. We'll try to get some video of that here. New looking weapons. I'm not sure if there's going to be anything different about them. Maybe some different subs and specials. I mean, they're all going to be different specials and subs, but I mean, we haven't seen anyone throw a grenade in the trailer. So a few gameplay things that were noticed. Uh, launching spawn points. It's going to be pretty cool. We have new movement based on what uh, the Twitters gave me. We have a squid roll if you're going to be moving on the ground and you and the squid surge, which was what we saw when the inkling jumped up way above where they should be with the blaster. Uh, location of the new post box, did see that in there. So we have new hair and bottoms, of course. Those are looking nice. Mm, love it. The new tank. Oh, yeah, you got a new tank. A full shot of Splatville Square right here. Or the multiplayer arena entrance, or what we're going to have access to. What I noticed is a new weapon shop in what looks like to be a hat shop next to it. Uh, I'm not sure if that's actually a hat, but it, it kind of looks like one, so... Uh, you get a new companion, which brings me to my next few points. I noticed something here when I was going through the tags of the videos. Splatoon 2 trailer doesn't have the RPG tag that Splatoon 3 trailer does. And these are both Nintendo uh, videos that I pulled the tags from and happened to notice this. So that leads me to believe that the single player is going to be heavy RPG based. That's really cool. Uh, hopefully we'll see a little more on that. But this kind of makes me think that uh, maybe the last Splatfest did have a big impact on the next game, or should I say the way they were going to treat the next game. I guess chaos being they were going to change things up a lot more, and an order was they were going to stick to their normal formula. But it seems like chaos is going to change this game up quite a bit. Well, that's all for this video. Go ahead and subscribe and leave a, a like if you liked the video, a dislike if you didn't. Let me know what I can do better in the comments below, or tell me what you think is going to be in Splatoon 3. Mm, how about that? We'll see you next time.